<laughs> but one thing I will say, like I said before, you know, if you are, a, um, if you're not racist and you authentically, authentically uh, believe that um, vaccines are bad, I, I can respect that. However, what I, I think is that number is very small. And I think that what well, the actual fact of the matter is, um, okay, what happened to me I, is I figured out one person in particular who, who writes on the internet uh, actually does not believe that vaxes are dangerous at all. And I kind of, I kind of caught him, you know, you know, I kind of figured him out. And then I realized he's not the only one. There are a whole bunch of people like this. And so you've got a minority of people who, for whatever reason, you know, say, I'll call these legitimate people. Uh, they believe that, you know, the vax is dangerous or whatever. And, you know, um, maybe, you know, uh, it's got chips in it or, or whatever. I don't really care. You know, the most, most of us don't feel that way. Um, but these, this small uh, minority of people seem to have, you know, uh, exaggerated their following. Like they're all over the news and we think there are more of them than there actually are. And, but within that, you know, those are the authentic people. The unauthentic people, I really have figured out, they're posing. They don't believe, you know, they, yeah. They, the first thing, if they get a toothache, they're going to go to the dentist. If, if they get, a, um, you know, a pain in their, in, in their belly, they're going to go see a doctor. And they're going to have no qualms about taking whatever um, medications or treatments, you know, modern medicine can give them. But, oh, geez, comes to a vax, you know, heavy metals, uh, untested this, you know, you know, on and on and on. And I, I'm calling the bullshit. No, what you're, do what you're actually doing is you're thinking, number one, is that you, it doesn't, it's not really going to hurt you. And since it's not going to really hurt you, you can play this game with other, and, and it's basically people coming together and they're, they're using this to dog, like I say, dog whistle. Yeah, which uh, is, is a very specific term, you know. Yeah, go ahead, Amos. Well, um, Julie uh, says what uh, sane person thinks that uh, forced experimental jabs are are ever okay, but those are not, they're not experimental. Neither are they experimental, nor are they forced. They're, they're forced in particular jobs if you if you uh, want to keep the jobs. Um, but uh, it's not experimental. It's been uh, tested. We've gone through a period of time of testing. It's based on uh, other uh, other uh, uh, technologies that be, that ha have been tested. Even RNA, mRNA vaccines are not new. They're just like new in the in the sense that they're I think deployed in such years old. Yeah. But they haven't been deployed at such at such a level uh, before. But uh, uh, yeah, there's another study in Israel, another one uh, that came out that uh, showed that uh, people who got uh, vaccinated, um, uh, people who sorry who got the uh, natural uh, immunity from getting COVID had twice the likelihood of uh, re uh, getting that uh, getting uh, reinfected uh, so it was thought uh, previously that uh, uh, natural infection would be more uh, robust than the vaccine it turns out that it may be for a short period of time but it wanes faster than the uh, vaccine uh, so so that's another thing to keep in mind um, as a matter of fact. Yeah, well, that's just more uh, sense in an issue that has been totally politicized. You know, so, you know, so that's a true fact, which we can promptly ignore if we don't like it. Yeah. I think we have to separate uh, between those people uh, who really think uh, um, an injection, a jab would, could harm them, you know, who are afraid of, uh, of it, you know, um, and on the other hand, we also gotta gotta see those who are doing this um, uh, as a part of their lifestyle, you know. Because as I as I said before, you know, it's part of their identification. You know, they are using this as a weapon. And uh, I think in this case, I I don't agree. You know, uh, I think those people who are afraid of it. Um, they should be taken seriously, uh, but on the other hand, uh, we should not uh, we should not uh, try to 
uh, to fall for, uh, for for the narrative of those uh, who are denying it uh, because of you know their identity, their uh, political. Uh, Uh, points of view, etc., uh, and uh, I see this. Uh, this is going on a lot, you know, because we are seeing this here in Germany. Uh, uh, until the middle of uh, the beginning of October, you could you could get uh, um, the free tests, you know, everywhere you were going. If you would like to enter a shop, etc., you got to do a, a test, and it was it was free to do, you know, and it cost nothing. Um, this changed, you know, because a good part of the German people are vaccinated right now. And uh, of, of course, it is paid by tax mayors money, the free tests. So they are not free in the end. And the question was raised in how far is it fair, you know, for those who, uh, who are denying a vaccination because of political uh, standpoints, etc. Uh, why should why should we uh, we pay for for this? You know, so it was decided that uh, um, the vaccination, uh, the, the testing is not free anymore. And those who uh, who are denying the test and say, no, we don't want it, but I, it is enough if I get tested every time, uh, they have to pay for it, you know, and you could see suddenly, you know, that the numbers were increasing uh, from those people, you know, who did not want to get vaccinated in the first place, you know, suddenly, suddenly it was, it was possible, you know, because it was not so easy anymore, you know, to get, uh, to get the testing, you know, it, or it, it costs, it costs money now. And, uh, You know, and this is, uh, you can see in how, how far uh, the fears are reaching then. Then you know exactly uh, it has to do with, with, with another reasons why those people refuse to do this, you know, and suddenly they did. Yeah. And uh, Jeffrey, you, you're right about the, the, the fact that uh, polio didn't go away until they started the vaccines. Um, and that is, that is uh, true. And, and look at where we are now with polio. It's barely... Uh, barely showing up anywhere um, so it's it's clearly should be part of the uh, toolbox and Jilly regardless of what what it is that uh, that it the solution is they're going to make profit that Merck is going to make huge profits on the uh, medication that they're developing that they claim is is uh, 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 50% uh, stopping you from getting worse. Um, it, it's, it's like, if not the vaccine, then something else. It's not, it's not like uh, that's the only way for uh, corporate uh, to make money. We don't. We we don't have to. Dis honestly, we don't have to discuss. You know, in how far uh, the the pharma industry is helpful or not. You know, I think we saw this uh, many many times. You know, especially when we are looking at America, the, the prescription prices there. There, uh, you can you can ask everyone here in Europe. You know, uh, what what they have to to pay for certain um, uh, drugs, and uh, if they would hear what you guys over there have to pay for it, they would not believe it. You know, and uh, we, of course it is. A, is it is about profit and we have seen this also here from germany when angela merkel denied you know that uh, that in africa or in other poor countries uh, they should get the rights to reproduce it on uh, and, you know they said no 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 we will take care that you get the deliveries of course it is about the it is about money you know and uh, that's the fucking system we are living in and that's a problem but this this doesn't uh, doesn't make the vaccination itself uh, dangerous in the first place i think you know and uh, for me uh, the most striking argument is you know if you look at those people who are, have to deal with this problem every day you know if you look at the nurses if you look at the doctors in the hospitals you know and they everyone has a, has a clear message you know they say um, we we, ha we have cases of, uh, of, of COVID you know from those people who were vaccinated you know but in comparison to those who were not vaccinated at all it is it is, it is striking you know they clearly say you know that if you don't get vaccinated, you definitely will get the virus. There is no, there is no chance to escape it in the, in, in the long run. So better be protected, you know, because it, it, it can help. It can help to save your life. And um, the thing is... Um, it, We, we saw when 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 the highest point in in, in the of the, of the wave was was reaching you know we saw uh, what what work and what a job uh, the people in the hospitals uh, did you know and uh, 
we should uh, we should also take take care of them, you know, and uh, because they did a, an excellent service in this time, you know, for being underpaid. By the way, I don't know how the situation in America is, but in Germany they are heavily under underpaid. Yep. Well, Marcus, I agree with you. You know, uh, what I wrote is is um, kind of one sided. Yeah in that it does leave out sincere people who who say but my point in doing all this is to bring out that there are multiple people involved here some of whom are, are actually dishonest and we don't want to admit it and see and these people there's a whole you know so we can rant on on and on about the science and the facts and basically these people already agree with us so they're just lying and they are saying otherwise because it's in their political interest to do so yeah, yeah. and they they think it's a small thing and they think they won't get hurt and i just wanted to bring that out and i do honestly you know feel this way about the police are a special um case they are actually public servants they serve we are their boss and if the governor of the state says get vaccinated and you're a police officer you really don't have a choice you follow orders that's your job you know, and if you want to quit, go ahead. I'm sure somebody else can can do it, probably yeah. better than you can. Yeah. And uh, just to respond to something that Julie says, uh, yeah, uh, the medication that you mentioned, uh, the uh, deworming uh, medication, is uh, is unfortunately has not been proven to be as effective in in the sense it may have uh, some effects and any and. and uh, uh, but it's not it's not getting to that level uh, so until we find something that does or maybe a combination of things uh, that's that's a viable option um, to go with with a with a newer medication but again at this it's not a, it's medication is not a vaccine and we've talked about it before it's it doesn't uh, prevent the disease from uh, keeping uh, in the population and developing uh, further strains and so forth so it's it's not in place of, of a vaccine it, it may be uh, helpful or uh, helpful in in terms of uh, uh, coming up with a strategy cases, but not not socially right or getting friend. or even socially but get, it's strategizing in a way to to kind of parse through the problem having certain people vaccinated and uh, certain people uh closely monitored and and and, uh, and immediately uh treated if if they do get something it's a matter of um of discussion but uh certainly uh Certainly, it's not. It's not. Uh, we're not uh, suggesting that vaccines are are off the table or should be off the table in any way. So, yeah, and I'm I'm aware that there are big problems about it. If you look, for example, at uh, Singapore, you know, uh, who have who has a, a very high rate of vaccinated people there, it seems uh, to, to break out again. You know, and. Uh, we we will have to deal with this for 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 quite a longer time than we thought right 